Hello fellow quizzers and welcome to another six round pub quiz. If it is your first time here, welcome to my channel. It's a really easy game to play. There are six rounds in the style of a pub quiz and I'll explain all the rules of the rounds before they begin. So we'll start the quiz by revealing the answer to last week's tiebreaker. The question was, uh, how many capital African capital cities can I name in 10 minutes? And I got 49. Uh, I was quite pleased with that. But I did think I'd get into the 50s, but not too far off. Anyway, so let's see how that tiebreaker affected this week's leaderboard. These are all the single players, everybody who finished between first and 10th. There you go. Some fantastic scores. Well done to everybody. In third place is Jackie with 60. Well done, Jackie. Really impressive. Second place is Husky Mum with 62. Excellent job, Husky Mum. And top spot this week is Bob with a brilliant 63. Great quiz, and Bob. Well done to you. Uh, well done to all of you. And a big thank you to all the single players who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. Really is appreciated. So these are the teams. Everyone between 1st and 10th. And there you go. Cracking scores, as always. So third place, Mad Sisters with 65. Well done to you uh, both, I'm assuming. Great score. Uh, second place is Emma and John, also with 65. Well done to you both. And top spot is Team Golden Wolf with 65. Well done to you all. And a big thank you to all the teams who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. So that's the end of the scores. Let's, be let's begin this week's quiz. So there are six rounds. Round one is a picture rounds. Round two is an entertainment rounds. Round three this week, the double points round is Disney and Marvel. Round four is a pictogram round with a personal favorite of mine in there. Uh, round five is a space round. And the final round is general knowledge. So as always, I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final rounds. I hope you enjoy and good luck. Round one is the picture round. There are 10 in total and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this from the world of music? Number three, name the retired sportsman. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? Number five, name the animal. Number six, name the medical device. Number seven, name the game. Number eight, name the film that this prop was used in. Number nine, which airline has this logo? And the last one in this round, number 10. What is this a close-up of? Round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions in this round. Good luck. Number one, which American city links songs by Bruce Springsteen and Elton John? Number two, 
Number two, Emmett Brokowski is the main antagonist in which 2014 animated film? Number three, I thought love was only true in fairy tales, meant for someone else but not for me. Love was out to get me, that's the way it seemed. Disappointment haunted all my dreams. Are the opening lyrics to which song? Number four, name the cartoon. Number five, Daniel Craig is married to which actress? Number six, the Self-Preservation Society is a closing theme song of which film? Number seven, Damon Albarn was the lead singer of which British band which was popular in the 1990s? Number eight, I See Dead People is a famous line in which horror slash mystery film? Number nine, in the Toy Story film franchise, what type of toy was Ham? It's not really a toy, but it was used as a toy in the film. And the last one, number 10, age just 13, who is the youngest ever solo artist to have topped the Billboard Hot 100. Is it Michael Jackson or Stevie Wonder? That's the end of the first two rounds. I will now go through the answers and round three and four will follow immediately after. So the answers for round one, number one, this TV or movie star is Natalie Portman. Number two from the world of music, Rihanna. Number three, the retired sportsman, Scotty Pippin. Number four, Who's this a picture of from when they were young? That is a young Judy Dench. Number five, the animal is the Portuguese man of war. Number seven, uh, six, sorry, the medical device is an otoscope. Number seven, the game. Could you waste some time on this? It is Minesweeper. Now, number eight, the film. It's a prop in the film, Back to the Future. Really, Back to the Future part two and three, but if you put Back to the Future, that's fine with me. Number nine, the airline is Lufthansa. And number 10, the close up. It is a close up of a dishwasher tablet. The answer for round two, number one, which American city links songs by Bruce Springsteen and Elton John, Philadelphia. Number two, Emmett Brokowski is a main antagonist in which 2014 animated movie, The Lego Movie. Number three are the opening lyrics to the song, I'm a Believer. Number four, name the cartoon, that is Dexter's Laboratory. Number five, Daniel Craig is married to 
Rachel Weiss. Number six, the Self-Preservation Society is a closing theme song in The Italian Job. Number seven, Damon Albarn is a lead singer which British band which was, which was popular in the 90s. That is Blur. Number eight, I See Dead People is a famous line in the film The Sixth Sense. Number nine, in the Toy Story film franchise, what type of toy was Ham? He is a piggy bank. And the last one, number 10, age is 13, who is the youngest ever solo artist to have topped the Billboard Hot 100? Stevie Wonder. Uh, Michael Jackson did it when he was 14. Round three is Disney and Marvel. Now this is a round where there are two points available per question, so 20 points up for grabs. The way this round, this round is gonna work. It's split into two. The first five questions are Disney, the second five are Marvel. So with the first five, you're gonna see a picture of a character. You'll get one point if you can name the character, and another point if you can name the film that that character is in. And then when you get to the Marvel, very similar, slightly different, you'll get one point if you can name the character, and you'll get your second point if you can name the actor who played that character. So I hope that makes sense. There are instructions at the bottom as well. I've given you around 18 seconds for each one. Good luck.
Round four is the pictogram round. For those of you who haven't played before, really easy game, a lot like the TV show Catchphrase. I'll just give you a quick example. So you will see an image like this come up on your screen that I've created. And at the bottom, you can see I'm looking for the name of a band. And from the picture, the number one points in the direction, the band is One Direction. Uh, for those of you who play regularly, I think this one's a little bit more difficult than I usually make, particularly five and six. So good luck with those. The answers are round three, the Disney and Marvel rounds. Number one, the character is Pongo. One point if you said Kong, uh, Pongo. Another point if you said 101 Dalmatians. I'm sure you all got that one. Number two, the character is Gaston. And the film is Beauty and the Beast. Number three. Number three is Jack-Jack. And that is The Incredibles. Number four. Number four is Shere Khan from The Jungle Book. And the last one, the Disney, number five. A bit tougher, this one. Number five is Joy. And the film, very good, is Inside Out. Now, moving on to the Marvel. The character is Star-Lord, who's played by Chris Pratt. Number seven character is Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston. Number eight is Nick Fury, played by Samuel Jackson. Number nine, number nine is Thanos, who's played by Josh Brolin. And the last one in this round. 
that is Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson. So the answers for the pictogram, number one, the actor is Kevin Bacon. Number two, the natural phenomenon, I can never say that word, is Eclipse. Number three, the saying or phrase, Shrinking Violet. Number four, the film, Anchorman. Now, number five, this is a tricky one. It's a song from the 70s. Well done if you got this. Is Indiana Wants Me. Uh, number six, another tricky one. No, uh, saying or phrase is blood is thicker than water. Number seven, the, uh, the food dish is Peking Duck. Number eight, a condition caused by contact sports. Cauliflower ear. Number nine, another saying or phrase. It's a sore loser. Number ten, my favourite one I've ever done, a dog breed. That is a shih tzu. <laughs> Sorry, I should laugh my own jokes. Um, well done if you got most of those. So that's the end of round four. I hope you're having fun and scoring well. Now this is the part in the quiz I ask. If you are enjoying it, please do click that like button. Always helps to promote the videos and is very much appreciated. Now I understand this week that round three, and, uh, round three, the Disney Marvel rounds, may not have suited some people, but so many people have requested those rounds. And I went through the ages of the people who play this quiz. The majority are sort of, um, sort of 30, and above, but there's still a lot of younger people who play, and I just wanted them to have a go around that um, might sue them better than some of the other ones that I do. Anyway, uh, we will now go into round five and six. The answers will follow immediately after, and there will be a tie break at the end. Round five is exactly as the name suggests, 10 questions all about space. Some are multiple choice, some are not. Good luck to you all. Number one, what is a supernova? Number two, what is the smallest planet in our solar system? Number three, what is the brightest planet in Earth's night sky? Jupiter, Mars or Venus? Number four, Titania is the largest moon of which planet? Uranus, Jupiter or Neptune? Number five, approximately how long does it take for light from the sun to reach Earth? 32 seconds, eight minutes or three hours? Number six, which word for the universe is also the name of a garden flower? Number seven, what is the name of the telescope that was launched into space on the 25th of December, 2021? Number eight, approximately in years, how old is the universe? 4.7 billion, 7.3 billion, or 13.7 billion? Number nine, which two planets in our solar system do not have a moon?
And the last one, number 10, at an estimated rate of 3.8 centimetres every year, is the moon getting closer or further away from Earth? Round six of the final round is general knowledge. There are 10 in total and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, what is the largest lizard in the world? Number two, which piece of gymnastic equipment is five meters long and 10 centimeters wide? Number three, Dutch is the official language of which South American country? Number four, what animal is associated with the constellation Cygnus? Number five, which word beginning with C is given to the study of very low temperatures? Number six, which dinosaur's name means three horned face? Number seven, which social media platform uses the slogan, make every second count? Number eight, which two Italian cities appear in the titles of plays by William Shakespeare? Number nine, what causes the disease cholera? Is it cont uh, contaminated water or insects? And the last question, by surface area, what is the largest of the five great lakes of North America? So the answers for round five, number one, what is a supernova? It is an explosion of a star. Number two, what is the smallest planet in our solar system? Mercury. Number three, what is the brightest planet in Earth's night sky? Venus. Number four, Titania is the largest moon of which planet? That is Uranus. Number five, approximately how long does it take for light to reach uh, from the earth, from, from the sun to reach earth? Eight minutes. Number six, which word for the universe is also the name of a garden flower? Cosmos. Number seven, what is the name of the telescope that was launched into space Christmas Day 2021? The James Webb Space Telescope. Number eight, approximately in years, how old is the universe? It is 13.7 billion years. Number nine, which two planets in our solar system do not have a moon? They are Mercury and Venus. And the last one, number 10, at an estimated rate of 3.8 centimetres every year, the moon is getting further away. So the answers for round six, number one, what is the largest lizard in the world? It's the Komodo dragon. 
Number two, which piece of gymnastic equipment is five meters long and 10 centimeters wide? The balance beam. Number three, Dutch is the official language of which South American country? This tricky one, Suriname. Number four, which animal is associated with the constellation Cygnus? Swan. Number five, which word beginning with C is given to the study of very low temperatures? Cryogenics. Number six, which dinosaur names means three horned face? It's the Triceratops. Number seven, which social media platform uses a slogan make every second count? You'll kick yourself if you didn't get it. TikTok. Number eight, which two Italian cities appear in the titles of plays by William Shakespeare? Venice and Verona. Number nine, what causes the disease cholera? It's A, contaminated water. And the last one, number 10, by surface area, what is the largest of the five Great Lakes of North America? Lake Superior. Now for this week's tiebreaker. Remember when you post your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It tends to make the difference. So the question this week, how many of the letter A are in this tin of alphabetty spaghetti? How many of the letter A are in this tin of alphabetty spaghetti? Good luck with your guess. So that's the end of the quiz. I do hope you had fun. I also want to say a massive thank you to everybody who comments on a regular basis. Really, really is appreciated. I love reading through them and very often makes my day. So thank you to everybody who does so. So just before I go, I have a few shout outs to do. I'll begin by wishing a happy birthday to everyone. So starting with Phil from Team Bowring. Happy birthday to Margaret and enjoy your vodka. Lucky you. Happy birthday to Delif, 23rd birthday. Happy 21st birthday to Lily. Happy 82nd birthday to Norja. Happy birthday to Ted. Happy 28th birthday to Russo. Happy birthday to James from Vietnam. Happy 30th birthday to Rudy from Team Fern and Down. Happy 24th birthday to Kara. Happy birthday to Georgie from Team Lego My Leg. Happy birthday to Belle from Team 6A. Happy birthday to Anne from Team Adam Fam. Happy birthday to Alex. Happy 51st birthday to Alex. Happy 26th birthday to Gaz. Happy uh, 21st birthday to Stephen. And I'd like to wish a very happy 8th wedding anniversary to Lisa and Andrew. Congratulations to you both. Have a great weekend. And this is Double Celebrations. A joint happy birthday to Neil and Alice, who are also celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary. Wow, fantastic. So happy birthday to you both. Congratulations. I hope you have a cracking weekend. Uh, one more. I'd like to say uh, get well soon to Steve, who's a fan of the quiz. And uh, he's coming out of hospital today, fingers crossed. So um, yeah, take care, Steve, and best of luck with your recovery. So that's the end of the shout outs. Uh, one more time, thank you all for playing. Have a wonderful weekend and see you next week.